Each year, more than 10,000 people need bone marrow transplants to save their lives. Their future literally depends on the kindness of strangers. And that's exactly what happened to one little boy we're going to hear about this morning. Early show correspondent Debbie Turner is here with more on that. Good morning. Good morning. It pleases me so to bring you this story. In 2005, the birth of little Matthew was an answer to Mike and Susie Welling's prayers. At the time, they did not know that Matthew was born with a life-threatening disease. A bone marrow transplant was his only hope for survival. The Wellings family and friends rallied around to give them love and support. But it took two strangers to give Matthew the gift of life. Matthew Welling took his first steps here at New York's Memorial Sloan Kettering Hospital. This little boy with the reddest hair and the biggest heart knows what it's like to fight for his life. Yeah, it's like a spaceship. Whoa. Just before Matthew's first birthday, Michael and Susie Welling got the news no parent wants to hear. We had a full body x-ray. And on our ride home, he called us to say, it's osteopetrosis. This rare and potentially fatal bone disease meant they were in a race against the clock. Their only hope, a bone marrow transplant. Without it, Matthew would be blind and deaf within weeks. It was, here's our chance to make him normal, yep. better. He's going to survive. He's, He's going to be okay. They kept a web journal, a daily lifeline for friends and family. Tuesday, November 21st, our day two, eight days until transplant. Good day for Matthew today. Would they be able to find a bone marrow donor whose tissue type matched Matthew's? The odds of you knowing someone who is a perfect match are astronomical. Those are called divine odds. Fifteen years earlier, Stephen Karras registered as a bone marrow donor at his synagogue in Natick, Massachusetts. They called my office, my home, my cell phone, and sent me an email all within seconds. Steve so was a perfect match. This, you know, I sell insurance for a living. To be able to go out and save someone's life is, is phenomenal. Within days, Steve's blood stem cells were sent to New York. Wednesday, November 29th at 7.52 p.m., Bubba received his new stem cells. But Steve had no but idea if his research. gift worked or the identity of the recipient. Really Bone marrow donors must remain anonymous for at least a year. A Matthew was given this gift of life mm -hmm. by someone we don't even know. But that joy would be short-lived. Wednesday, December 20th. This was the journal entry we did not want to have to compose. Matthew's body has rejected the transplant. Next came the harrowing search for another donor and sleepless, feverish nights for Matthew as his blood count dwindled. This was the endless plunge. This was, you just were free falling, you didn't know how to stop it, you didn't know when it was gonna stop. And then another miracle. When Jill Goldsmith's phone rang in Boca Raton, the screen on her caller ID said, gift of life. And at that minute, it hit me. This was not about me and what I was doing. This was about this little boy that was waiting for me in that hospital. Jill became anonymous donor number two. Saturday, January 27th, 11.25 a.m., Bubba's new life began. But the battle wasn't over yet. Matthew developed a painful rash, a life-threatening sign the transplant was attacking his body. Monday, March 5th. We get no breaks. All the prayers in the world aren't working for us. Everything that could go wrong is. Five weeks later, a ray of light. Monday, April 9th. We interrupt your regularly scheduled program to bring you this breaking news story. Bubba has left the building. That was a big day. As the months passed, Jill and Steve approached the one-year anniversary of giving their gift of life. I kissed my little boy. And finally, Love you. the moment everyone was waiting for. Sunday, January 27th. Wow. Today we met Steve, donor number one. One little dog going down. And my hopes are to watch him grow up and to be a fine, wonderfully responsible young man. I know that we will have a bond for life. Saturday, May 17th. It is our honor and our pleasure to proudly welcome into our family the other half of Matthew's dynamic duo, Jill Goldsmith. I changed so many people's lives and most of all my own. One, two, three, go! It's really <laughs> unbelievable. 
that there's this world of good so people so out there willing to do such an amazing thing for others. And that's what this story is all about. And of course, this whole story is made possible because Steve Karras and Jill Goldsmith registered to give their bone marrow. And that's what they and the Wellings want everyone to remember, how important it is for healthy, willing adults to register. You literally could give the gift of life. Well, Bubba is here, ladies and Bubba gentlemen. Is there in he the is. Building. Let's meet Matthew Welling and his parents, Michael and Bubba. Susie. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Feel all right. <laughs> Talk about music coming out of a child's mouth. Mm -hmm. What is it like to be able to sit here with this child on your lap, right. with this animation, with that smile, with those beautiful eyes? It's not real to us still. I don't know how sick he was to have him be with us and be so such an amazing little boy. Uh, uh, Michael, the most important message of this, doing this story, letting us come into your life and share your son's story, what's the most important message? If you're in a position to help, we need you to. That's really what it is. We were fortunate enough that Matthew had not just one donor, but two. Mm -hmm. And we feel that's a responsibility to get out there to all those people who can help those people who don't even realize mm. they need their help right now. Yeah. Well, as it turns out, Stephen and Jill are here today. Yeah, how about that? We have a little well, surprise in, guys. for you. Come on in, guys. <laughs> there Honey, they look are. Who it is. Oh, wow. Look, Matthew. Oh, look who's here. Who's that? Great to see you. <laughs> How are you? Oh my God. Hey. How are you? Hi, Gabby. Hi, 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 you see Steve? Steve? Hi, Matthew. Hi, Hi, here, why don't you sit right here? Steve, you come yeah, sit right here. here. You stay there, Harry. I'm going to go over here. Hey. How are you, Say Matthew? Hi, Jill. It's a new Hi, family here. Well, without question. <laughs> Look at this. This is evidence of everything. Oh you don't know Jill. You don't. You don't know these people from anybody 18 months ago. That's right. And now you are inextricably linked. You'll be linked forever. We, we hope so. They're family. Absolutely. What does it mean to you? You just said it in the piece, but to be able to hold hold this boy, it's it's unbelievable. It's just the thought that uh, that he's going to grow up and that he's going to spawn his own generations and that we were part of it, mm -hmm. and that, uh, that he's here is just, it's, it's overwhelming. People are afraid to do this for some, for a number of different reasons, but what was your journey like in this, in, in the end, how, how worth it was it? Well, the worthwhile is right here. But what I'd really like to get across to everybody is that the procedure itself was the easy part. Mm. And what they were going through in their lives was just incredibly difficult. Steve and I, we were asked to do something. We did it. We, it was non-invasive. It didn't hurt. Mm. I actually flew to Atlanta on Friday morning to do my donation. Right. And flew home that same afternoon. That same day. That same day. It's completely non-invasive. It's very similar to donating blood. Right. And look what we got out of this. Right. I mean, we took time out of our lives to help somebody, mm -hmm. but he has added to our lives. Register, register, register. Register, right, register, register. Register. Yes. That's, register. That's really. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Matthew. Hi, Matthew. Hi, Matthew. Hi, Matthew. Thank you, know you all Hi, very, much, very much for coming and sharing your story with us this morning. Thank you really, so much. Really, really Thank really you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll be right back. For more, though, on the National Marrow Donor Program, head to our website at earlyshow.cbsnews.com. We'll be right back. Hi. Hi.